Oh, hey, this is Seth. Um, sorry I haven't posted a video in a while. Like, I took last week off, and I just haven't been in the mood to shoot a video. I started a video. I started a video on Monday when I went to get my oil changed. And, of course, I'll show you the clip here. Okay, I'm here in my car apartment to get my own chance. And I don't know if you can hear me, so I have to really fancy it. Um, maybe lock this out of the entire dealership. And I have to wait to put my own in. And, you know, this is new life. I haven't put up a video last weekend because I was kind of figure dealing with all this change, but more stuff is coming. And I'm outside because uh, the dealership doesn't let people inside because of COVID-19 and we in the way around these big Heaters, they longer. They look like lights, and I've seen them in California in the rooftop bar. The reason why I didn't finish the video is one of my parents came and picked me up so we could have lunch. And two, I was really nervous. <laughs> and this is not because I'm going to tell you something personal. Uh, because of my cerebral palsy, I sometimes have a problem with going to the bathroom, and I've always traditionally had it all the way back to kindergarten. You know, I had a little bit of anxiety because I wasn't sure if I needed to go to the bathroom, not that I did whether I could use their bathroom or had to go, have to go to McDonald's or something. And all this, all this stress is, <laughs> and it's funny for me because I'm, I'm an introvert, I'm an extrovert introvert. And I love staying at home because, you know, I can just, surround myself with books or guitars or whatever I like to do and just shut the world away. I don't have to go out and see people. In fact, sometimes seeing people causes anxiety because, you know, the more crowded it is in the room, the harder it is for me to possibly make one my way through the room. Or <laughs> maybe that's just a feeling I have. But I found this article, it's called on fatherly.com, it's called that COVID-19 feeling. It's called anticipatory grief. And I think all of us have uh, all of us feel it some more than others. It's because <coughs> it's because the news is so bad. Um, they put the death counts. I uh, know it's seven thousand people died or do I don't know how many people died today. I also. Don't really care other than I'm sorry for the victims, but I don't like the victims to be made out as a statistic. Like Charlotte, the girl who helped legalize marijuana, she died because she went into the hospital on April 3rd and she died on the 5th or the 7th. A couple of days later, really sad. My heart goes out to the family. Heart goes out to every other person who has 
Divers hospitalized by us. So, anticipatory grief all linked to Ariel. Blow. It's when uh, you feel like you're under siege and you can't get out of. You're stuck at home. You can't do anything about it. You can't see your friends. So we're grieving about the changes that we have to endure right now until this thing gets better. I think, well, maybe I shouldn't tell you. I think it'll go pretty much all year because we're not ready to come out of our houses because we don't even have a workable solution. No, we don't have a vaccine or any sign of a big vaccine. So we gotta wait for that before things start turning around. But other than that, this is one. This is a story we're gonna tell future generations, grandchildren, whenever we write about it in the books. And, you know, just think about the big picture. When we're old and gray, well, say I lived through COVID-19. The way that my grandparents, who are dead, they lived through the depression. And we're going to have to do things differently, like washing our hands. And someone may say to you, Grandma, Grandpa, why do you wash your hands like that? And you have to talk about COVID-19 because we had to to get clean. But I don't want this to be a down video. I'm just going to post more videos. I'm working on one right now. Fingers I'm talking emphasizing thing about skateboarding my disability. I hope you're staying safe, I hope you're washing your hands and I hope you're FaceTiming or zooming or whatever you do to get in contact with your people, your family, friends and you know Thank goodness for all this video conferencing because if this had happened in the early 2000s, like 20 years ago, no one could be able to contact their friends and families as easy as we can do it now because I can pick up my iPhone, FaceTime my brother, FaceTime my parents, FaceTime Anyone, and if we have an Android phone, we can swap videos or do it on a, a Facebook Messenger as a video function. You know, and, and all most people have it installed on their phones. I think the phone is the big, biggest way to get on Facebook because not everyone is blessed with having a computer. Like, yeah. So this video has run long enough. Uh, thank you for visiting me and have a good day. Stay inside. Wash your hands. I love you and goodbye.